got myself a new switch today. Well, a few days ago. I'm not going to use this. It's only PoE Plus. And, uh, it sounds like a jet engine taking off. This is a fanless switch, 8 port. So, this will stay plugged in. I have a uh, wireless access point coming in that I ordered. And uh, it's going to be a uh, 802.11ax access point. This device provided by my router, or my router, my internet service provider is 802.11ac. It's fine, but ever since I got fiber, I've been wanting to do more network, computer-related stuff. So, and uh, everything's wired right now except my cell phone, obviously. I got this computer from work that was being decommissioned. It has two old Xeon processors in it. Um... It's a Lenovo D30. I put six and a half terabytes of storage in it. It does not count the C drive. C drive is only like a 120 gig drive. Um, currently, I'm just using it as network storage. But, yeah, here's the access point that I ordered. A TP-Link EAP660HD, Wi-Fi 6, AX3600. Should be good, hopefully. The only Wi-Fi 6 device I have is my desktop computer. And it's hardwired. But I was thinking about upgrading uh, this from AC to AX just because. But mostly just want to use the PoE on this. Quick short little video hopefully it was entertaining to some give me a chance to hopefully teach myself some stuff um i was thinking about installing the uh yamada uh, controller on that but i don't know if it's worth it for just one wireless access point but it could be fun to play around with so we'll see what happens that doesn't have a graphics card in it. Um, I had to borrow one to configure it and set it up. So the only way I can play around with it is if I RDP to it. And something cool I found out is when the remote machine, when that machine does not have a graphics card, the machine that is remoting into it utilizes the local GPU to handle the video encoding or whatever. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, Techmaster170, signing out.